Yesterday, we gave you a peek into what goes on behind the scenes in the State Historical Society's Archaeology and Historic Preservation Departments. Today, we're taking you down to the Collections Department. Elizabeth Shores tells us how the museum picks and prepares its display pieces. All of the pieces on display in the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum have to be collected and assessed by someone first. One of those someones is Assistant Curator of Collections, Lori Noner. She helps select and evaluate items for the Historic Museum Collection, which showcases items made by people throughout the 1700s up to the present. But they don't just take anything. The story is probably ar arguably more important than the item itself. The museum looks for items that have a North Dakota-centric story. Noner gave us a sneak peek of some of the items set to go on display in a basketball exhibit this February. She says these shoes were worn and donated by a man who wore them at St. Mary's High School and later went on to be a naval officer. The other items on this table were either made in North Dakota or used here. This is the collection space where items go when they're not on display. In total, the museum has over 80,000 pieces, although they're not all stored here. After a bunch of planning and once Lori is done prepping the items, exhibitions manager David Newell takes over. He plans and arranges each display and works with the museum's in-house media studio and carpentry shop to create the exhibits. It's not just me. There are at least 28 people working on every exhibition and you don't see them, but you see their talents and the end product of what they create. A lot of thought and work goes into each exhibit. The pieces, color palette and placement are all accounted for. Each exhibit can take anywhere from a few months to a few years to make into a reality. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores, reporting for Your News Leader. An owner says the museum's been collecting items since the 1890s. Most are donated from North Dakotans. 